Welcome back guys, Gabriel Braga here. Today we're doing a tutorial on flying knees. Three types of flying knees. This has been requested so many times, I'm finally getting to it. I know a flying knee tutorial is only really pertinent to you if you are a pro fighter because you can't do head knees and usually that's what you're aiming for when you fly in the air, you're aiming for the head. You can't do those as an amateur, but they're still fun to learn. They're great fun to bust out on the pads. And when you do turn pro, it's nice to have these techniques in your back pocket. So stay tuned and learn about three types of flying knees right now. Okay guys, three flying techniques for the knees. Now the big thing to focus on here is the distance because each separate technique of a flying knee requires a different distance. So let's start off with the long range one. So on this flying knee, I'm entirely out of range. Nothing I throw can land. So from here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push off my back leg, I'm gonna take this back knee right into that pad, and I'm going to extend my left foot at the last second and pop off it. The next one is gonna be a scissor knee, and this one works best for me within punching range. So I've already landed some shots. I can just lift this knee up, this back one, but instead of trying to actually get up there without the jump, midway through here, as my weight is springing up, I do my switch. And again, I can combo up first if I want. If I see he's open, then switch and double hand pull down on the head. So the last knee that we're gonna do is when we're at that really tight range, the flying knee won't work, the scissor knee won't work, so I'm gonna take my back foot and I'm gonna spring up as high as I can and make sure that one leg extends backwards and one knee pumps up to the head. And I like this one from in here because I can either grab the pad and bang it off with the jump or if his hands are split and there's a space, he's worried about the big hooks, I throw a couple hooks and then move right into the jump. If you're having trouble with this one, the easiest way to start practicing is both feet off the ground at the same time and scissor your feet and land at the same time. You have to land at the same time, otherwise you come off balance. And then the pads there, right within that tight range. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. You guys know that flying knees are one of my favorite techniques. I've landed them very effectively a number of times. I'm still waiting to get a big clean knockout with them, but it'll come because I keep drilling it, keep throwing them, and with that variety of ranges, they are very, very lethal. Guys, make sure you like the video, comment below, get subscribed, and I'll see you back here soon for another video.